Today, we're gonna craft the beloved coconut belt. I apologize for not uploading this past week. Uh, I thought it was gonna be a few days because I thought I had a common cold or something silly like that, something basic. Nope. Turns out I had something sort of basic. I had walking pneumonia. And so I couldn't stop coughing. And every time I coughed, I sound like a teapot boiling. And it sounded like I was trying to cough out the Atlantic Ocean. On top of this, I had fevers and my nose was so congested. I sounded like a snot bubble. So besides that, I'm back now and we're back with a banger of a video. We're going to be making the coconut belt today. First step in getting this thing, we have to take down the coconut crab because we, we haven't gotten in there just yet. It's been a while since I've played. Especially on this account. If you've been keeping up with our Noob to Pro series, you'll know that we have a brand new account. We're making progress. We're making decent progress. Very quick progress. There's been a lot of macro, though, but for the particular reason of I'm trying to speed up early game and get to that juicy mid-game stuff and get to the end game stuff and where we can really start having fun because, honestly, I'm not a fan of the early part of this game. It takes so long. All right, let's oil up and let's use a tropical drink. All right, we finally have enough, uh, what is this, super precision. Yeah, we've got enough precision. We're ready to go. Coconut crab, here we are. This has gotten so easy. Like, earlier in the game, this is, like, the hardest boss besides the stump snail, even though the stump snail just takes a long time. It's not hard. And now look at this. He's dying in a little over 30 seconds. Okay, we need a lot of tropical drinks from this. Star jellies, too. Tropical drinks, star jellies, all that jazz. So glad that token links work for this. I'm pretty sure precision, yeah, precisions also work for this. Uh, so I can just stay under these little targets and boom, bada bing, bada boom. There's my tornado. Loads of coconuts. Oh no, I should have started crafting. I'm collecting unnecessary nuts. Okay, whatever. We can just sprout. We can sprout. Look, look at how many sprouts we have. 5,128. We're loaded. All right, here it is. Look at it. The same size as the freaking coconut backpack, which makes no sense, but it will once we wear it. Look at this thing. How am I supposed to wear this? It's obviously going to be a bit smaller. Okay, my chat won't close. Hello? Okay, whatever. Chat won't close, but the coconut belt. 500 coconuts, 1,500 tropical drinks, 200 purple potions, 200 hard wax, three refreshing potions, ah, three refreshing vials, and three turpentines or turpentines, whatever it's called. Seven and a half trillion honey. Passive petal storm, which needs the petal belt, which we do have, and a new passive called combo coconuts. Okay, so not super different from the petal belt, but it's some marginal increases that are helpful and very beneficial, especially if you're white hive, like that extra 25% honey from tokens. All right, so from what it sounds like, all we're missing are the coconut drinks, tropical drinks. I don't know why I call them coconut drinks. And of course, the turpentines. I only need one more. And then the biggest pain of all, the coconuts, because there's a limit on them of 500, which I don't know why that's the case. But still, it's not very helpful. And hold the phone. We have had 50 tropical drinks blending in the blender. So tropical drinks are covered. Boom. Look at that. What a relief. 15, 20 tropical drinks. Let's make a turpentine. Boom. Turpentine made. Super expensive. That was much easier than I thought it'd be. Um, well, ain't this awkward. We gotta get... <laughs> The purple potions, not the purple potions, man. I swear if it costs tropical drinks to make them. All right, there we go. 159 purple potions. Super pricey, super worth it. Hardly made a dent on our materials. Now we can craft ourselves the nuttiest of belts. The coconut belt. If you haven't already, subscribe, like this video. Three, two, one, craft item. Boom, received coconut belt. And man, oh man, does it look absolutely bunbelicious. Goodbye to this goober belt. Let's throw on the gummy mask and do some testing. I'll pull up the wiki too, so we can go ahead and further explore this thing. We've got gummy mask, gummy boots, gummy baller, and lots of coconuts. Okay, before looking at the wiki, we're gonna give it a test. Okay, how does this work? I'm not gonna read it. I'm not gonna read it. I'm not reading it. La 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 la. What do I need to collect though? Every 40th coconut? Every 40th coconut? Wow, this better be one wild ability that I can't afford because I have no coconuts. All right, it's sprouting time. Give me the coconuts. Give me all the coconuts. I want to get to 80 coconuts. Okay, we now have 80. We can stop the sprouting. We just got to focus on collecting it all. All right, there we go. 
Bada bing, bada boom. Collected it all. Gonna go convert the bag and then we're gonna hop in the spider field, drop some coconuts and see what happens. Okay, I've come up here to the mountaintop because my bag keeps filling. There's a vicious bee! Doesn't exist anymore. All right, anti-bag fill. All right, inspire coconuts has gone off again. So we're emptying our bag and on top of this, we get more coconuts. We need six more. Oh, there we go. There we go. What is this? Okay, hold on. Um, uh, turn it off pollen text because I don't know what's happening. What the heck? What is this? Hello? Okay, we've got a multiplier going. We've got some sort of ability going on. Um, I don't know what the ability is doing. I'll put it on screen in text or something, but what the heck? Is the should I stand in the darker part of the target? Dude, no! Did we miss it? I think we missed. Oh, come on! Missed. 14 points. All right, how does this system work? Every 40th coconut you drop onto a field through items or abilities becomes a combo coconut. When caught by any player, combo coconuts are kicked and fall again onto your own field if caught on the first drop within the blue circle or onto another player's field. Every time they are kicked, they speed up and gain stacks of coconut combo. Many more stacks are granted if caught by other players in fields with different colors. Catching the coconut grants a buff that grants between 10% to 75% unique instant conversion between a multiplier of 1.1 to 1.5 times pollen and between plus 1% to 50% percent pollen, red pollen, blue pollen, white pollen, bee attack, and honey from tokens. When the coconut fails to be caught, it despawns and reapplies the buff to all players who caught it at least once. Okay, so that is rather unique. That's that's a rather unique ability, and it sounds like it could be really good if you line it up with things like a gummy star, a scorching star, or a pop star. This sounds like this could be a humongous surge in honey and pollen collection during boosts, but it's gonna be so hard to line that up, especially considering as a, like, a red or a white hive, you have to be getting precision marks. You have to be staying in your marks. You have to be collecting uh, other tokens. I mean, how are you supposed to catch coconuts? Are you going to have your friends do it? You can have your friends do it. That actually, come to think of it, now that I think about it, this ability could be like a multiplayer ability, if anything. Like you have to have friends for this ability to be cre like crazy, insane, to be super powerful. So I guess that increases this game's co-op aspect, which I think is a good thing. I think that's a great thing. We're gonna activate combo coconuts again. Uh, after we take down this mono chicken, give me like two seconds. I have the gummy mask, so my attack is like butt cheeks right now. There we go. All right, here we go. Blue circle, blue circle. We're gonna stay inside the blue circle. Put some oil on. We're gonna see how this goes. Pollen text is off. I just have to know where it is. Okay, okay. And this is such a huge field. Why would I pick this field? What was I thinking? That's not the right coconut. I've got to stop dropping coconuts. I don't know which one it is. No. Nine points. Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. I kept collecting the wrong coconut. All right, here it is. Look at this. 29% unique instant conversion multipliers of pollen, red pollen, white pollen, blue pollen, bee attack, honey from tokens. All right. So everything it said, which I think is pretty good. What is this unique instant conversion though? According to somebody on the wiki, unique instant conversion is applied independently of all other instant conversion. For example, if you have two different sources of 50% unique instant conversion, it would apply the 50 50% twice, giving you effectively 75% instant conversion instead of 100%. That's extremely confusing, but I'm sure there are some reasons for it to exist. It's like a less instant conversion, isn't it? Anyways, if you liked this video and you want to see more content, be sure to subscribe, like, I post videos on Beast Swarm Simulator every Saturday. Goodbye!